I don't know about you, but I love stromboli. It may take 10 minutes off my life every time I eat it, but I'm gonna keep making it. Today, I'm gonna be featuring the Galan's air fryer and trying out air fried stromboli. Stromboli is like if a cinnamon roll became pizza and I am here for it. No time to waste. Now let's go! Some pizza dough. So switching to a little flour here. And what we wanna do here, using a little flour if it's sticky, is just get it into a rough rectangle shape. Stromboli is one of those things, everybody makes it different. So something roughly like this should be fine, does not need to be perfect like I said. Okay, a little marinara. And what we wanna do is leave a little layer open up here without sauce or anything. That way it'll be easier to roll up. Now some Italian cold cuts, use whatever you have, whatever you can find. This is hot soppressetta. I'm gonna do a layer of this. Something I really wanted to put in here and I couldn't find was porcelain cheddar ham. If you can get your hands on some of that Italian ham, oh my gosh, that would be insane. I say if you're gonna make this, just go heavy, do it right. Next up, some fennel salami, same deal, just right on top. And finally, some calabrese, if I'm saying that right, I don't know. Now some low moisture mozzarella, cheese it up, there we go. Now from this side here, just bring it up, and we're literally just rolling it up bit by bit. See, that's why we left that piece on the end, so it'll make this easier. And then right about here, stop. See how everything's coming out? And now what we wanna do here is just pull up that dough and just pinch it right there, like so. Make sure it's really sealed so it doesn't unroll, and just work your way up the whole thing. And there's your nice little stromboli. I'm just gonna poke some holes so it doesn't get huge air bubbles. Let's get this thing rocking. Air fry, I'm gonna go 375, probably about 20 minutes, but we'll set it for 25. And in she goes. That was a little tricky. Lid on. Now while this is cooking, we're gonna make an amazing garlic butter with a little chili flake, a little fresh thyme. It's gonna finish off this incredible stromboli. Pretty low heat, just melt some unsalted butter. Now, I'm gonna add some garlic in a second here. You could microplane it. I wish I could tell you where to get one of these, but it's from like a local fair. Awesome. Now while this butter's melting, we're gonna drop some fresh thyme leaves in here. So they have the thyme to unlock their flavor and all that fat, AKA this butter. Thyme's strong, little bit goes a long way. Butter's just about melted, we'll add some garlic. Once that garlic's cooked on low heat for a minute or two to shut off the heat, gonna add a little bit of salt since that was unsalted butter, sea salt. And if you like, some chili flakes for a little heat. And then with the heat off, just let that sit. When the stromboli's done and right before serving this butter, we'll chop some fresh parsley into it. And it'll get a really cool color to go on top of the stromboli. There we go, about 22 minutes. It looks really good, like the top down heat from this air fryer is pretty crazy. Okay, here we go. Ah, and out we go. Now with our butter just a little warm, we're gonna drop in our fresh chopped Italian parsley and just let it warm up for a minute until that color really unlocks. Now just brush that butter on like you mean it. Oh my gosh. And if you want some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano on top, that'll just kind of melt on there. Such a fun thing to make. Any age group, you could be two or 200 years old, like some kind of Stromboli vampire, and you would still love this. Well, no time to waste. Oh, Lord. I mean, are you hungry yet? Oh my God, it's looking right at me. Mm. <laughs> mm. Truly so satisfying, and you can't really mess it up. Now, let me take a brief intermission to thank today's sponsor, which is Galan's. And I was excited to share this with my audience because this is a multifunctional air fryer, grill, and roaster, as well as a sous vide and steamer. Pretty crazy, the whole idea with this machine was to like pack a bunch of appliances and make it into one thing, which I really love the idea of, especially for people like college students who don't have access to a lot of cooking equipment and just want one thing instead of a bunch of different appliances appliances. But let me quickly go over the package that comes with this air fryer slash everything else and I'll show you what was in the box. First of all, just the display here. I like how simple it is. The settings are as follows. Air fry, grill, slow cook, roast, sous vide, steam, rice, saute, and warm. Pretty amazing, right? Actually, if you think about that. And also it is Big. big enough to certainly take the fattest of chickens and even small turkeys, which is pretty cool. And I don't know if you've ever seen a system like this, but a lot of the heat is coming from this top down mechanism right here, which is pretty cool. And the lid comes off completely. Feels like I have like a shield, man. <clears throat> anyway, don't use it like that. But as you will see from the Stromboli, it did a really good even job of air frying. First off comes with this air fry basket right here. 
nice, but I feel like it could be a little bit bigger because obviously I could not fit the Stromboli in that, although it did cook good on the bottom of this thing. Then we have this little grill and that just pops in the bottom like that. Then you would just hit the grill setting. You could cook chicken or steak or pork chops or whatever down there. The steamer slash sous vide rack that would sit in the bottom, then you could steam vegetables or what have you. And also if you're doing rice or steam or anything like that, you wanna use this steam lid as opposed to that because this you do not wanna get wet. That is mechanics in there. You know, my initial tests with this machine have been great and I'm excited to spend more time with it to try some things like sous vide, to do a slow cooker, like basically use this thing like a crock pot. I wanna see if you can do a nice steak in there and get some good color on it. If you have to do a lot of rice, this would be amazing. So my initial thoughts for this machine are good and I'm really looking forward to trying out some more of its functions. Hope you enjoyed today's video, my friends, and until next time, you know I love you in a mouth.